All right, all right, all right. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Damn DPOV. And we are here, we are here, we are here. What's up? Salute, salute to y'all. Now, I want to react to this video. It says that the, it says what? Uh, let me go to the title of this video. Oh, goddamn. It says, uh, if we're cool with white people using sing, people singing the N-word on a song, how are we held to a high standard? T.I. says, LGBT is bullying rappers. So I'm just re here reacting to what T.I. is saying. T.I. is saying the LGBT community are bullying rappers. So let's just play it and let's react to it, all right? Let's get it popping. Refresh, baby. Come on. Turn me up. All right, here I we think go. think you guys have to understand that on stage and not the place that rappers go to be sensitive and soothe everybody's feelings. It's the place to go to have a good time. I thought we kind of let our hair down and disqualified the BS because if we post to not trip, if we see white people saying niggas singing along with the song, how is we held to such a high standard of morality? Like, just to be honest. So it seemed like it was a safe place and it's all done and fun. You know what I mean? That what I... That's what I thought, okay? So. That is true, though. Because when you go to concerts, you be white people in the crowd. And when the rapper has a lyric nigga in the song, they be saying it with him. It's true. If that is the case, why do words cause such a visceral reaction that will lead to someone trying to attack, villainize, demonize, crucify, condemn, and like it's that shit is that shit is like now you bullying you you know what I'm saying we all stood up on behalf of gays and lesbians and people in the gay community because we thought it was some bullshit for y'all to have to be bullied. But I don't think any of us did that to, to feel like you would now have the authority to come and bully us. I mean, that's just, you know, it's just my feelings. That's just my feelings. Hmm. Um, Interesting. And if I'm wrong, then somebody have a conversation with me and show me how. You know what I mean? But don't tell me, just shut the fuck up and, and sit there and take it. No, bro, that ain't the way this shit work. You don't get to go and condemn people just because they think differently than you. That's not equality. That's not justice. That is true. That is true. Like, if, if you speak out negatively or if you just give your honest opinion, like, you're like crucified. That is true. That is very true. Mm. I like how you put that. That is true. Yeah, you know I mean, and that's not hip hop, to be honest. So I'm just trying to figure out when this shit became CNN, Fox News, MSNBC. Like, when, I, man, what? And there has been, you know, enormous considerations within the culture, within the community of hip hop. Enormous considerations, man, uh, for, for, for our gay and lesbian brothers and sisters, because we feel they are also one of us, you dig? But we don't feel that same way in, 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 like in, in, in return. We just gotta sit here and take it. You just, you just do what you want. You just say what you want. You just do what you want. You just say what you want. Then when we say anything that's outside the lines of your acceptance, then bam! Canceled. Hit <laughs> his ass in the head. Three times. Like, how the, like whoa, whoa, whoa. That is true. Whoa. That is true. How, the, how we get here? That is true. How we get here? I'm just trying, again, again, I'm just trying to understand. As, they're trying to understand that's true bro that's true so anybody who can you know chime in and show me how like if the baby trip and y'all feel like hey man that was too much then say that say hey man that was too much 
you know, and go from there. But yeah, this shit is too much, bro. You can't make nobody feel like you. You can't make nobody. And the question I have, bro, the question I have, and I'll do respect, like, Gays want people to accept something immediately that it took them a while to accept. Oh, D- tell that is a fucking good point. He said gays want people to accept them faster than it took them to accept that they were gay. Damn, Ti, that that is wow. You you deserve another one. Hey, that is an amazing point. That is an amazing point. It's like if you don't accept them immediately, cancel, 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 cancel. That is a wow. That is that is well said. I, I one more. One more, one more, one more. It took gay people a while to accept with the whole. In my, if, excuse my ignorance. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm speaking out of turn, somebody please chime in and correct me. But it seems as though it took you a while to accept the difference in yourself to where you could share it with the world. So if it took you that time to accept yourself, how long you think it will take, take us me. to accept you? Facts. You got to give us some time too, bro. Facts. Oh why my. we expected to be so perfect, so protective, so considerate. Someone raised a great point. They uh they said he never said gays have AIDS or HIV. Okay, so I so I heard a lot of people said that it was the it was the him saying if you don't have AIDS, this, that, and the other. Okay, guys, I don't know how many of you have ever been to a hip hop party, but they say shit like that. They say shit like that in the club. He ain't the first one to say that. That shit is a part of the culture. He says that they I mean not he, but they. DJs say it, bro. Just like they say, man, if you pussy clean, let me hear you scream. I, and I said that. You ain't got no STD, make some noise. I, you- I said that in my original video. I was like, when you go to the club, they always say that. If you if you got long hair, say, ah, you ain't got, if you got your own house, holla, ah, if you ain't got no STDs. Like, I, I've heard DJs and say, DJs and people say, if you ain't got no disease, say, ah. Yeah, that that is so facts, facts, bro. Nothing that he Ti said is wrong. I'm agreeing. So far, what Ti is saying, he preaching right now. You ain't got HIV. Let me hear you, man. That shit happens all the time in clubs. At so many, why is it that we picking and choosing that is so uh 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 exponentially more wrong when he says. When he do, yes, it had, man, listen, bro. I came up in the 90s and the 2000s, and I swear to God, in the last two, three years, I've heard that said in all kinds of clubs. And also, why is it the only people that seem to be affected by this council culture are black people? Why is that? Hmm. H and M called your kids some monkeys. You still shopping now? Damn. Damn, Ti. Yeah. You gonna do them like that? Hey, Ti is bringing up some excellent points. H and M said that we all monkeys. And hey, I ain't gonna lie. I shop there too. I ain't gonna lie. I just I, I just bought a T-shirt from there. I ain't gonna lie. But I never said that the baby should be canceled either. So, but I ain't gonna lie, I do be shopping at H and M. Hey, H and M do be having some good T-shirts. You know what I'm saying? Like just plain T-shirts, like white black T-shirts. I get my T-shirts from them all the time. I ain't gonna lie. Gucci, put black face, but then they called you some jigaboos. You still shopping there? I don't buy Gucci. 
I don't buy Gucci. You got so many different people to show you guys how much they don't give a fuck about you per se in your face. And you still shopping with them. But when a rapper do it, oh, hell no, nah, let's cancel him. That is true. Or her. That is true. Damn. That ain't solid. Damn, T.I. That ain't solid. You on something. You on that something. Solid. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of motherfuckers saying it ain't my business. Well, no, I just ain't finna stand there and let no. Just like if I see somebody getting beat up by the police, it ain't my business. But I'm finna pull over. I'm finna get out. And I'm finna do something. Nigga. Why would I just stand there and watch it happen? If God could be using me as a vessel, as an instrument, why would I just stand there and just watch it happen, bro? Excellent points. Excellent points. I think the real issue why they want me to mind my business is because I make because the points that I make are valid, and I'm not very valid. Emo, uh, emotion. Very valid. I don't hate gays. I don't have a dog in that race. Very I valid. I just don't. I, you know, I just feel like fair is fair. Very valid point. I just feel like fair is fair. You know what I mean? And I honestly, you can't counsel me because you didn't create me. My blessings, I know from which my blessings come. So, regardless of how anybody feel about me, man, still gonna be me. It wasn't right. The reason it wasn't, the reason it wasn't right or appropriate is because if somebody, gay, straight, because everybody. Okay, I'm assuming this dude in the fella is uh, gay. So I guess he's defending or he's telling us what exactly they are mad about so let's listen to what he's saying everybody can get AIDS, no matter who you are if True. they were in that if they were if they were in that audience and this person says if you don't if you don't have that deadly disease AIDS, raise your light up you know like i was telling my people you don't know if somebody just found out they had it and they were just like you know what i just want to get away go to this concert whatever whatever or they're dealing with a friend who passed away from it or whatever. And you say this, it's just insensitive to people. It is insensitive. You said they said it in the hip hop club back in the day, whatever, whatever. But no, it's still present. It's, present, just, it's present, disrespectful. Present. Exactly. That's so just absolutely. like if a white person got on, it's just like if a white person was to get on the stage and say, if you ain't a nigga, put your lights in the air. You're gonna get a uh, dead no, cause he didn't drop a he didn't drop a derogatory. A but term, it, like, that is like derogatory. The, like the F bomb. He that didn't say the F bomb. That, that he said the N word, word, but he no, didn't no, say no. the F word. It you is derogatory. You don't know. You don't know who is in that in that arena that had AIDS. But why and you is he responsible for all of that? He's trying to give people don't. a good show. Why he responsible for all of these people's thoughts and concerns and and their emotions? It's, why why did he become responsible for that? He was responsible okay, for that. Okay, so, sure so just say if you ain't broke, put your lights up. If you hit the turn up, if you can't enjoy the show. Out, put your lights up. But to but to say if you don't have but, a deadly disease AIDS, Well, listen, I'm life. not saying I'm not saying I'm not trying to I'm not trying to excuse anything. Because every man is accountable for his own actions. I'm only merely attempting to explain how it could be tangled in some in some uh, uh some confusion and trying to untangle mm -hmm. i feel like anytime we have moments like this this is a teachable moment it's a it's a time for you guys to understand some so, things about us and for us to understand some things about you we understand trust me we understand about y'all because in the in this nah, world you can't do that in this in this world the straight you community is all is supposedly the alpha male honey so we nah, understand ain't got nothing you. to do with that because this was something over here too y'all got solid cats it's solid cats, there's gays, and it's 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 some suckers who's some straight men, and vice versa. It ain't don't know ain't nobody slow like that, bro. Everybody know been there. Everybody know been there. But this is what I'm saying though, bro. So you saying if you're a celebrity, you have this elevated, I guess, uh, uh Because more, now they, because they, now you're but because wait, like, when, but at when the same you, time, you are, but, when you but just please allow around. me to allow me to continue. At the same time, to go ahead. At the same time. We're supposed to be equal. Y'all want us to treat our fans like they are equals. But 
and then you want us to have some different kind of set of rules when it comes to other stuff. So which is it? Is we all the same and then we all equal and we all, you know what I mean? Or, or are we held to a different standard and we, and we play by different rules? Which is it? Now, the reason I say celebrities are looked at as a different standard is because when you have a person who's just walking around with just, you know, they're living a regular life because y'all's life isn't regular anymore because you have cameras in front of you. You have paparazzi. Everybody got people. cameras so, with social media. You got a no, camera. I'm I got a camera. We're talking you go, we if talking if you no cameras out, right now. If you were to go out to eat right now, cameras would be like, oh, my God, T.I. is here. But when you have a regular Jane person go out, they're not going to say, oh, Susie here. So now when you go out, you have a different fan. You have different, you have white people looking up to you, black people, Chinese, Puerto Rican, Italian. So you have different lives, different walks, gay, straight. You have different people. Uh -huh. so you have to be mindful of all these people and mindsets that are looking up to you. Me and this hood y'all who live this way so all y'all have to understand how no so it's just it's not, and it's I, that that's how it sucks that that's how celebrities have to walk around but it's just you have so many people that respect you that when you say something that's inappropriate that they feel is inappropriate it's just like damn this is who i looked up to and they said something wrong you know what i'm saying like so you may have a fan that does have aids but if a fan that does have aids you just told them oh if you don't have this deadly disease raise the light up they're gonna be like what the fuck? see i think the mis i think the misunderstanding is that you feel i'm trying i'm not you this is not i'm not upset with you i no, I'm, mean, that not... I'm just trying to get you to understand why people were upset but i i'm it's not that i don't understand why they're dealing with it the way they are yeah, I don't think he you, should be. I don't think he should be canceled, upset. or they should. I don't think he should be canceled. I don't think they should drop labels and all this other stuff, or take away his boohoo Baja man. I don't believe that. I I just feel like he should just be like he should hold himself accountable to understand. Hey, I offended some people, but all that take him down. He shouldn't be rapping. He shouldn't be this. No, I don't believe that. I no. think we can. I think we can agree on that. I think. That's mm -hmm. I think yeah. we can definitely agree on that. And yeah. Yeah, I, I I agree on that last party uh, too. But I, yeah, I just wanted to make a reaction video to this. Uh, at the end of the day, what 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 Ti said is very. Uh, he made some very valid points. You know, what I'm saying people pick and choose, and uh, you know, people pick and choose of what they want to be upset about, and they don't they don't keep it solid. You know, what I'm saying they don't keep it solid. They want to cancel the baby for saying something. He didn't. He didn't say. He didn't say. All you f out here, out here doing this and doing that. All you beat, beat, beat. Like he didn't say a. I can't even say the name. He didn't say a harmful slurring name. He didn't call them names. He just said a act that they do. He didn't say. If you this and that, you didn't. He just said, if you ain't doing this act, raise your hands up. And T.I. made a good point when he said, y'all want to cancel the baby, but y'all still shopping at Gucci. Y'all still shopping at H&M. Y'all still doing this and doing that. And y'all want us to accept that you are who you are faster than you accepted yourself, which was a great point. That was well said, very thought out. Salute to T.I. Salute to this young man right here uh, for having a conversation, for, hi for having a dialogue. Nothing is wrong with conversation. Look, nothing wrong with conversation. Everybody is entitled to have their own opinion, and you have the right to express it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all leave a comment down below. Y'all let me know, did y'all agree with T.I. said? Um, and that's it, man. It's your boy, damn D, baby. <laughs> Woo, it's a long ass video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Please, 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 please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new, man. I'm at this thing. Peace.